we do have a neat opportunity to talk about. If you're looking to tap into your creative side, the Eastern Shore Art Center is hosting a wild clay workshop. And I have with me Zach Zerke here to talk more about it. This sounds like so much fun. We were talking about it just during the commercial break there. And it's three days, right? Yes. So first off, what can people expect if they sign up for this? Well, they can expect Friday evening slideshow and lecture where we get to talk about all the all the stuff we're going to be doing the rest of the weekend and getting to know each other. Mm -hmm. Saturday, we will be in the field finding clay deposits, learning about the ceramic history of the area and um, exploring kiln sites from the 1800s. Mm. And so I asked you if the clay that, because there's a lot of clay in the dirt here, right? That red, deep color. And you said, eh, yeah, you can find that and make something, but that's not quite what we're going for when it comes to creating something like this. Yeah. Um, the red clay in our area is mostly sandy and not the stuff that we make pottery with. Mm -hmm. We're looking for the dense clay that is uh, sticky when you touch it, sticky mm -hmm. when it's wet, or very chalky and dense when it's dry. Mm -hmm. And there's lots of it here. That's what brought all of the potters from all over during the 1800s. And I want to get the workshop participants yeah. in touch with our history and uh, with the uh, geologic history as well. Speaking of the history, you were telling me that your grandfather was a jug maker. He was, a uh, great, great grandfather. Oh, wow. So <laughs> when I got into pottery, I reached way back in my family lineage mm -hmm. and found a connection, found meaning, and um, the first place I dug clay was from the uh, clay vein at mm. his old pottery site on mm -hmm. Fish River. Wow. So we're looking at this here. You brought in this beautiful uh, piece yeah. here. So are you telling me that people who sign up for this workshop can find some clay and then create something like this? Yes. Eventually. Eventually. <laughs> yes. Because that's a skill, right? Yeah. Being indeed. able to make something. How yeah. Did you make this and how long did it take you? Um, I made that. Uh, I fired it in my large wood kiln. Uh, it took me about 10 minutes to make it on the potter's wheel. Of course. And then it took it about, <laughs> it took about uh, two weeks to fire it in my kiln. Wow, okay. So. But the, in, in addition to working with clay and learning the history of it and also about the region, um, you say there's some geology and life lessons that people will get from this workshop as well. Of course, yeah. of course. Um, you know, people don't think about People don't have a lot of reasons to think about the earth beneath our feet, mm -hmm. how it got to be there, uh, the forces at play mm -hmm. that made it, and much less that they can use it to be creative or to make something functional for their daily lives. Yeah. So it's my job to help people make those connections and empower them to use the resources that are literally beneath our feet. Pretty cool. Thank yeah. you for stopping by to talk more Thank with you. us about this.